change for truckers in Tennessee could mean safer roads for all of us and less pollution. It is called vehicle platooning. News 2's Corey Johnson explains how it works. Two vehicles that are connected electronically that are that are going side uh, behind each other in such a short distance that the airflow goes from one vehicle to the next. Officials with the Tennessee Department of Transportation say vehicle platooning, which began in the state in 2017, could save trucking companies anywhere from 5 to 10 percent in fuel costs for 18 wheelers and trucks as they travel along highways while moving freight. It's a push-pull model that allows for greater fuel efficiency, less fuel consumption and less pollution as air travels from one vehicle to another using wireless communication and sensor technology. But on busy Tennessee highways, could this method of large trucks traveling close together lead to congestion. Transportation leaders say it's not likely. If you think about it in the state of Tennessee, probably no trucks are going to platoon around uh, the close to the, the uh, center of Nashville. It's going to be more on your outskirts where there's less congestion. There are still drivers in both vehicles. Neither are autonomous. And there are safety mechanisms involved, including fuel mitigation, lane warning systems, and even braking as vehicles travel at high rates of speed with heavy freight. This connectivity that they have between the two uh, cabs of the trucks is why that they brake and it's not an issue for them to run in the, the back end of, of the previous truck because they're all connected uh, electronically. So the safety factor is actually more safety and efficient when platooning is engaged. Platooning does not have any added cost cutting to those in regular cars and is more commonly used by trucks and big rigs. It can also reduce the impact between vehicles in the case of a crash, providing reaction times much faster than humans. As highways across Tennessee expand, TDOT officials say it may be a smart choice for travel, but prices at the pump will be a major factor. If fuel continues to rise, then the formula changes where it's more beneficial for the trucking companies to, to uh, start using platooning. If fuel decreases, it's less beneficial for uh, companies to, to implement platooning str uh, strategies. Corey Johnson, News 2.